The U.S. Navy has commissioned the Independence Variant Littoral Combat Ship USS Cincinnati LCS-20. It is the fifth ship to be named for Cincinnati, Ohio. Principal Speaker U.S. Representative Brad Wenstrup of Ohio said, From acquisition to construction to testing and certification, she is a marvel of engineering that will extend our capabilities for any mission, from the middle of the ocean to the shallowest of waters, enhancing our ability to project power at shore and at sea. The USS Cincinnati will extend the maneuverability and lethality of our fleet to confront the many challenges of our complex world. Commander U.S. Naval Forces Europe, Africa, Allied Joint Force Commander Naples, Admiral Jason G. Fago III stated, Each and every day our ships sail alongside those of our allies and partners, defending freedom, deterring aggression, and ensuring adherence to the rules which underwrite the greatest signal to our allies and our partners and best warning to our adversaries. Fago added, Naval presence is essential to our national defense strategy and to a peaceful, connected, and prosperous world. In this video, Defense Updates reports on commissioning of USS Cincinnati, LCS-20 Littoral Combat Ship. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account. The Littoral Combat Ship LCS, is a set of two classes, the Independence and Freedom. Construction of the Freedom class is spearheaded by Lockheed Martin at Fincantieri Marinette Marine Shipyard in Wisconsin, while that of Independence class ships is led by Austal USA in Alabama. These are relatively small surface vessels and primarily designed for operations near shore. During the late 1990s, the U.S. Navy understood that cruisers and destroyers would be vulnerable to attacks in shallow coastal waters. Large warships like cruisers and destroyers are designed for open ocean warfare and not for shallow water where these can be targeted by high-speed boats, missile-firing fast attack craft, small submarines, sea mines, and land and air-launched anti-ship missiles. The idea behind the littoral combat ship as described by former Secretary of the Navy Gordon R. England is to create a small, fast, maneuverable, and relatively inexpensive member of the DDX family of ships. If required, these ships will absorb an attack and protect the much more expensive cruiser or destroyers. The LCS is envisioned to be a networked, agile, stealthy surface combatant capable of defeating anti-access and asymmetric threats in coastal waters. Interestingly, the LCS has a modular design. The vessels can be configured with different modules for specific roles that include anti-submarine warfare, mine countermeasures, anti-surface warfare, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, homeland defense, maritime intercept, special operations, and logistics. In the long run, the LCSs are expected to progressively replace slower and specialized ships such as minesweepers and amphibious assault ships. USS Cincinnati has a length of 127.4 meters, that's 418 feet, and a displacement of 3,104 tons when fully loaded. The ship uses two gas turbines and two diesel engines to power four steerable water jets. The USS Cincinnati has a speed of 40 knots plus, that's 46 miles per hour or 74 kilometers per hour, and has a range of 4,300 nautical miles, which is 8,000 kilometers or 4,900 miles. 
It accommodates 40 core crew plus up to 35 mission crew. USS Cincinnati can carry up to two fire scouts. The Northrop Grumman MQ-8 Fire Scout is an unmanned autonomous helicopter developed by Northrop Grumman for use by the United States Air Forces. The Fire Scout is designed to provide reconnaissance, situational awareness, aerial fire support and precision targeting support for ground, air and sea forces. Fire Scout surveillance and targeting capability is expected to further enhance the LCS's improved lethality. The Independence class carries a default armament for self-defense and command and control. Unlike traditional fighting ships with fixed armaments such as guns and missiles, tailored mission modules can be configured for one mission package at a time. Modules may consist of manned aircraft, unmanned vehicles, offboard sensors or mission manning detachments. The interior volume and payload is greater than some destroyers and is sufficient to serve as a high-speed transport and maneuver platform. The mission bay is 15,200 square feet. That's 1,410 square meters and takes up most of the deck below the hangar and flight deck. With 11,000 cubic meters of payload volume, it was designed with enough payload and volume to carry out one mission with a separate mission module in reserve, allowing the ship to do multiple missions without having to be refitted. One Mobicon flexible container handling system is carried on each ship in order to move mission containers. In addition to cargo or container-sized mission modules, the bay can carry four lanes of multiple strikers, armored Humvees and their associated troops. An elevator allows air transport of packages the size of a 20-foot long that's 6.1 meter shipping container that can be moved into the mission bay while at sea. A side access ramp allows for vehicle roll-on, roll-off loading to a dock. The Independence-class ships also have an integrated LOS mast, Sea Giraffe 3D radar and Sea Fire Sapphire FLIR. Northrop Grumman has demonstrated sensor fusion of on- and off-board systems in the Integrated Combat Management System ICMS, used on the LCS. The vessels have an interior communication center that can be curtained off from the rest of the bridge instead of the heavily protected combat information center found on other Navy warships. USS Cincinnati will be armed by a variety of the weapons. One BAE Systems MK-110 57mm gun. One Raytheon C-RAM CIWS close-in weapon system. Four 50 caliber guns, two aft, two forward. Two 30mm Mark 44 Bushmaster II guns, part of SUW module and 24 AGM-114L Hellfire missiles, planned part of SUW module, or 8 NSM's in-deck mounted canisters. Naval Strike Missiles or NSM is the most powerful weapon of the USS Cincinnati, which gives it a potent punch and the ability to take on much larger opponents. It's the upgrade of Kongsberg's Penguin short to medium range anti-ship guided missile. The missile has a range of 100 miles or 185 kilometers. NSM is capable of high subsonic speeds. It has sea skim mode by which it travels very close to the surface, making it hard to detect and intercept. It's also designed to maneuver to avoid enemy defenses. It's equipped with a 276 pound or 125 kilogram multi purpose blast fragmentation warhead. NSM features an imaging IR seeker which is complemented by inertial GPS navigation. The missile also has a built-in database of representative ship types to distinguish between intended targets and other objects. Importantly, it can be used as an anti-ship missile as well as for taking out land targets. NSM will be placed on the decks of LCSs through a proprietary canister launcher. U.S. Navy has more than 10 supercarriers, 65-plus Arleigh Burke-class destroyers, 
25 plus Ticonderoga class cruisers as well as several other surface combatants like wasp class amphibious assault ship the powerful warships have made the American Navy's surface fleet to be the most formidable one with the inclusion of literal combat ships like USS Cincinnati US Navy will be able to plug certain holes like operating in constrained places this relatively smaller but agile addition will significantly improve the combat flexibility of the US Navy as it faces an ever stronger Chinese and resurgent Russian Navy thanks for watching subscribe for more videos like this hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section this will help us improve